of nursing. Good morning to you, Mike. I mean, uh, uh, we'll go through a number of the things that those students were talking about there. One of them was, I'm so delighted. They were saying it out loud, feeling proud of what they have achieved, what they've been required to do and what they've done. You must really share that. Yeah, morning, Charlie. I mean, uh, what a fantastic report, actually, um, watching that with you there. The whole nation should be proud of our student nurses. Um, I think that really showed the, the, the challenges they face, the, the real life situations that our student nurses face every day. And, and the fact that, that so many of our student nurses stepped forward, they, they moved into the workforce at very short notice. Uh, and delivered care to, to all our loved ones throughout the pandemic. We, we really, it is a really special thing that we should be proud of. Can you do a sort of compare and contrast for us, Mike, as to, you know, how, how different their experience is and has been from their predecessors? Yeah, so I think it's important to, to note that all student nurses are frontline throughout their, throughout their course of study. Um, so, so what's different this time in the last year is that obviously we had this pandemic that no one knew really knew much about at the start. Um, we didn't know what the risks were and, and our workforce very quickly, our established workforce got stretched. Um, so students were asked to become part of the NHS workforce to take on short term employed contracts so they could support that workforce. Um, so there were mixed, I think there were mixed experiences. I think a lot of students gained a lot from it. Certainly we as a population gained from it because of the support they gave, um, the, the care they were able to deliver. Um, but perhaps at times some of their learning experiences has, uh, has been compromised for some students. But uh, th there'll be a lot of learning for everyone from this. But um, the main difference was, was they were asked step forward to be paid as part of the NHS workforce. And Mike, you saw that as other people watching it too. One of the things that jumped out at me was uh, the sentiment that they very honestly, a number of them very honestly put out there is the realities of what it was like not being able to see their own family, not to catch up with brothers, sisters, mums and dads, not be able to go home for fear. As And I, th I think one of them said, not worried about myself, I was worried about my risk to my family. And th there are real concerns about how this will have affected them. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, I mean, I think that is reflected across anyone in healthcare that has been involved in this pandemic, the extra pressure of the, the worry of what they are bringing home or what, what other people they're putting at risk. But I think in terms of our students, what we have to be really careful of moving forward is how we are, how we are supporting them moving forward. There's a lot of work going on around how we're supporting people's mental health and how we, we, we retain our workforce right now. Um, one of the challenges I think students also generally face is, is around um, their, their financial support through courses. They, many of these students will be going into the workforce now with, with student debt that, that may cause concerns them and worry. And we have a new generation of students coming through now, a rise in applications, which is fantastic to see. And we need to make sure that we're retaining all our students to the programme. But you're right, that report highlighted really, really well in just honest voices about the, the additional strains and stress that, that, that people and our, and our students face through the pandemic. Are you confident that, that they have people to go to? Uh, I don't know what systems are in place, especially with tra trainees. They've not spent the time on the wards. They may well be younger, of course, not all. But are you confident that, that you know there are people there for them? Well, I think the NHS is, 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 at, you know, is, is recognising that. Um, you know, mental health support for, for people coming out of this pandemic is absolutely paramount. There will always be more we can do. There's always, always more we as an organisation can do to support people. So I think it is recognised, but it, it, it needs to be a primary concern. Um, I think one of the potential risks we have is our, um, you know, we often talk about the, the um, missing registered nurses that we have, the vacancy that we have in the system. We need registered nurses to support our student nurses. So whilst we support our students, we also have to support our current work for, workforce to ensure that we retain all of those people going forward so that, so that they are there to educate, to support and help our students learn moving forward. And can I just ask you a final thought, Mike? I mean, I know you talked about the, the numbers of uh, potential recruits coming forward. I mean, that's a testament to something else, isn't it? Uh, it's character of, of people looking in and going, do you know what? I, I would want to be part of that, no matter how challenging. We all are well aware of that now. There are people who still want to step forward and be part of that. Absolutely. And, and it is really 
fantastic that there's been an increase in interest in applications this year. It's it's got us back to where we were about four or five years ago. Um, but for whatever reason, it's fantastic. We've, I think people have really seen the true nature of nursing this year. Um, they've seen that it is an advanced, skilled, um, highly responsible role um, that maybe has burst a few myths um, over the last year. Um, and, you know, we, we absolutely just seize this moment. Um, but we need to make sure that our nursing staff feel valued who are already in the profession uh, and we don't lose them going forward. So, you know, there's been a lot of talk around around pay, uh, around safety in nursing um, staffing levels. These are all issues that the government has to take really seriously so we can make the most of this new interest in nursing.